I've made numerous videos in the past about this very subject. Western tourists who go abroad and make the deadly mistake of believing the entire world is, by and large, friendly and welcoming. That foreign countries embody the same kind of high-trust societies that Westerners formerly grew up in. And that the existence of no-go zones in any country are a ludicrous urban myth invented by bigots and conspiracy theorists. But they do exist! And if you make the mistake of straying into the wrong area and bumping into the wrong people, it can be fatal. The most extreme example being those two Scandinavian women who went hiking in a dangerous part of Morocco and met with a horrendous fate. Well, it's happened again. German tourists tortured and murdered in South Africa after kindly picking up Hitchhiker. South Africa is one of the most dangerous countries in the world, but naive German tourists keep coming back. A 74-year-old German tourist picked up a Hitchhiker, drove him to a liquor store. The Hitchhiker then phoned his two accomplices to inform them of the plan. The German then drove the Hitchhiker to his home, where he was promptly jumped and beaten by the three culprits. Prosecutors said the men tried to get the German to tell them his PIN code number before he was robbed of cash and valuables, murdered, and his body dumped in a bush. As Remix News highlights, these kind of attacks on German tourists are a routine occurrence, but they just keep coming back. I mean, why would anyone pick up a hitchhiker in South Africa? A country where white people are routinely targeted. A country that could very well soon be governed by EFF leader Julius Malema, who routinely calls for killing white farmers by way of the infamous Kill the Boar chant. <laughs> The country's per capita murder rate for 22-23 was the highest in 20 years at 45 per 100,000 people, a 50% increase compared to 2012-2013. In 2023, there were 27,375 murders in just one year. And that doesn't even include the ones that weren't recorded. This is not a friendly and welcoming place. What was supposed to be a multicultural oasis now features one of the largest security industries in the world, reported NPR. Despite what the media drills into you about cultural relativism, the world is a dangerous place. And some places are not high trust societies, they're absolute shitholes. Please just try and avoid them altogether. <laughs> If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs>